Well, the, that uh, economic update is being released this week uh, by Treasurer Josh Frydenberg. Sarah Henderson, are you expecting that he will choose to continue those uh, payments that Sarah was just referring to, particularly JobKeeper? Well, Sherry, first of all, I have been quite disappointed by Labor's campaign in particular uh, on the extension of JobKeeper under circumstances where the Prime Minister and the Treasurer have already made it clear that there will be announcement this coming Thursday to extend income support. Now, we will have to wait until Thursday uh, to hear all the details, of course. But the government has provided the most incredible amount of economic support, some $260 billion, uh, in some cases very generous. JobKeeper, um, the, job seeker, Sarah, but there will all, all be the, changes. The... There will be changes to it, won't there, mm -hmm. given uh, there have been concerns that some people are now earning more, receiving more, uh, a higher benefit, you know, of $1,500 a week than they were under their previous job. Sherry, yes, there will be changes. I expect there will be. Of course, there has been a comprehensive review of a uh, job keeper and the announcement uh, and all the details will be made, um, of course, public by the Treasury this coming Thursday. But as I say, we have provided the most incredible amount of support. We are not going to let Australians fall through the cracks. I think Australians can see this. I think Australians can see that our Prime Minister has absolutely made us all proud in the way that we have uh, led this coronavirus pandemic response and we will continue to do so. Yeah. Sarah Henderson, just to stay with you for a minute, the ACTU today has released a list of demands which include completely free childcare uh, for all parents, regardless of their income, uh, in order to increase women's workforce participation. Do you think this is a good idea or is completely excessive? Well, Sherry, I must say, when I woke up and watched Insiders this morning and saw that interview uh, by Michelle O'Neill, I didn't expect that she'd come out with a policy supporting childcare for millionaires or multimillionaires. Uh, that's not the sort of system that we have in this country. Our childcare system is all about supporting those who most need our help. And 90% of Australian families are receiving a subsidy of between 50 and 85%. It's an incredibly fair and incredibly supportive childcare system that we have in this country. And of course, we have had free childcare because of the huge pressures with the pandemic, but we still have a very substantial transition package now in play, uh, nearly three quarters of a billion dollars. So we have a very significant and very important uh, childcare um, policy, which supports Australian families. And frankly, I could not believe uh, what came out of the mouths of the ACT this morning. What do you think, Sarah Hanson Young? I mean, the, the reason behind this is to get more women back in the workplace because they say participation drops off uh, between the ages of 25 and 40 because women are caring for their children. Um, is it such a bad thing that women take some time out of the workforce to care for their kids? Look, <clears throat> obviously, um, a generous and uh, effective paid parental leave scheme would give um, new mums the, the need to, and the ability to stay at home uh, when their child is young. But we're actually economically missing out on some $60 billion by not providing uh, that free childcare access to ensure that uh, we do lift the female workforce participation uh, in this country. And when you compare Australia to uh, other countries around the world, comparable uh, nations, um, our participation rate for the female workforce um, is much lower. And one of the key elements of that is the access to affordable and accessible childcare. And look, Shari, I've been on this um, issue from uh, the, the moment I walked into the parliament. I've been a big supporter of reforming our childcare system because I think it's good for children. Uh, it's really important that our younger citizens get access to quality early childhood education and care, but it's actually really, really important for working women um, right across the country. So I'm all for it. I think we do need a universal system that uh, ensures childcare is treated um, very similar to the rest of schooling. Like, why is it that once a child turns five, um, everybody has access and it's free, but before that, which all of the experts tell us it would be a significant burden on the, if not more, a significant burden on the budget, though, at a time when uh, everything well, no, is stretched. See, this is, 
But see, mm -hmm. actually, um, that's not right because what happens is if you encourage women to get back into the workforce, you can actually improve the budget bottom line by some $60 billion. It's a win-win. It's good for jobs, it's good for the economy, and it's good for kids. Sarah Henderson, very quick response to that. Well, it would cost the budget some $6 billion, and that's exactly what our childcare subsidy does. It looks after families who most need our help, and that's why uh, women's participation in the workforce has gone up under our government, and we will continue to make sure that that happens and that women get all the support that they need, particularly women, but of course, more broadly, families. Uh, this is a much fairer system than was under Labor when uh, families with very high um, income were supported. We're now making sure uh, that families with much on much lower incomes get the support they need, and that's why uh, women's participation in the workforce is going up.